Welcome to Rocksaw Productions, where in this episode we are going to check out the Nexago charging dock for the PlayStation 5 DualSense 5 controller. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rocksaw Productions. Now, before we dive into today's episode, I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. I know it seems hokey, I don't care. I appreciate everybody coming and supporting what we're doing on here on the channel. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other content we have here on the channel, including reviews of other charging docks for the PlayStation 5, our unboxing and initial setup videos as well. And what I want to know from you here today, back behind me, MLB The Show 19 is playing on my PS4 actually. 2021 marks the first year that MLB The Show will be multi-platform. Will you get it? Will you get it for the PS4, PS5, Xbox, Xbox Series X or S, or the rumored Switch edition? Initially, my plans when I heard that they were going multi-platform, I was going to get it on the Switch. But having seen this game on the PS5 upscaled, yeah, I'm going PS5. Ain't, ain't no way I'm going any other way. I'm going PS5. So the folks over at Nexago sent us this here. This is the charging dock designed for the PS5 DualSense controller. Now, I actually have the OEM Sony one. I don't like it. I don't like the way that the, the controller sits on it. I don't like the way that it feels like I'm always fumbling with it to make sure that I'm getting good contact to charge it. And I also just don't like the fact that I have to use a separate power supply. So they sent us this to check out. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it out of the box. We're gonna check and see how it looks, see how the controller fits. And in addition, this actually also includes some additional grips and a trigger kit is what they're calling it. So let's check and see what it looks like and feels like on the PS5 DualSense controller, which honestly, I really like that controller. Let's go hit the bench. So here we have the Nexico charging dock on the bench. Now, one thing, I don't know why they did this, if they were afraid of copyright reasons or whatever, but it says for P5 instead of PS5. I mean, come on guys, you can call it what it is. It's, it's okay, really. Um, now down below here, we have a couple little indications that's fast charging, power adapter, it looks like power adapter is included, and includes that trigger kit. Now there's something interesting down here I wanna show you. So this product does not contain a controller, Okay, they have to say that for legal reasons, but the included power adapter only support for this charging dock. So are they saying you can only use the power adapter that comes with it with this dock or that you need to only use this adapter with this dock? We'll find out. So looking at the back, you've got the charging dock itself. It says it is a USB type C power input. So I, I don't know, uh, I, I guess we'll see. And then again, fast charging, power adapter included. Here's the trigger kit that's included. So it's got uh, for the thumbsticks and then for the triggers too. Um, and then nothing really else on either side. Now, before I open this up, I do have the Sony dock here and I don't like it. And I don't like it for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, when I go to put my controller on here, like I'm always fumbling to make sure that it's locked into position. This isn't me like screwing around being overly dramatic. This is me like really what I normally fumble with when I use it. Okay, finally it sits in there. There's no LEDs on here to indicate charging and also the only indication that you get is around the uh, touchpad on here will glow. The final thing I do not like about this is the fact that it uses its own barrel type power supply so I cannot power it off of the PS5 to reduce cables around where I have this set up. Now, if this requires me to use their, you know, stock charging adapter, then that kind of puts me back in the exact same spot where I am now. But let's open this up. Set the box aside. So here we have an AC adapter. It is indeed USB-C. Output current 5.3 volts, but the big thing, 3,000 milliamps. That's three full amps output. That's a hell of a lot of current. Um, okay, and here's the triggers, which we'll check out in a moment. I don't know that I'm gonna use them because uh, I really like what the system comes with. The dock itself, and inside here was the instruction slip sheet. So uh, first and foremost, let's just see. I mean, drops right on. Yeah, I still gotta mess with it a little bit. 
But that's one of the issues with the Sony one is it has the pins kind of reset down. So when you set the controller on, it actually initiates charging. But because the pins and everything are down, I'd like it like if this central part were just higher. Like this here, look how high that nub is compared to the outer pins. So go ahead again. Simple, straightforward. Okay. Yeah, it works. Now let's take a look at the nubs and everything because some of these are, look at that, that thing's huge versus just the standard cover. Um, I would not use something like this ever. Uh, the grips, maybe. I've never been a huge fan of the grips. And then these are the, um, the trigger accessories as well. So it looks like it just uses uh, adhesive two-sided tape to go onto the back of the controller. I mean, it does dramatically lengthen the, the trigger if that's something that you feel like you need. I really like these, so uh, I don't really have a need for that. So in addition to the super long ones, there's just the medium long ones, and there you can see about how much longer it makes the, the trigger. Those are slippery little suckers. Slippery little suckers. So there's the, the additional height and whatnot that you get there. Um, Again, not something that I would use here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna kind of pull it up, push it down in the middle, and hopefully it will come back down around. Nope, did not cooperate there. There we go. I mean, it definitely does provide more traction on that thumbstick. I mean, it, your finger definitely feels the little bumps on there. I don't know that I would use it, but it's there. So now I've just gone and plugged in the, the included power supply. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook it up here. Did see a little LED flash underneath on the back side. Hook up our controller and see, are we charging? So it did show initially that uh, the lights around here charge. This may be fully charged. I think that controller actually is fully charged, but there's no LED indicators or anything like that on the charge base itself to show that it is charging. Let's check here. The LED light will be on around the top of your charging dock. Now here is another important fact, only the front USB ports of the console have enough power, so you can power this off the front of your system. So there you have it, my look at the Nexigo charging dock for the PS5. What do I think about it? Well, it has a lot of opportunity that it just didn't deliver on for me. Um, the fact that, the way that I think the issue is here is, is my DualSense 5 controller is more than 80% charged. And reading the manual, once you hit 80% charge, it stops charging. Well, at that point, I think it also stops the light as well. I haven't drained my controller down below 80%, so I can't verify that. I am reaching out to them to verify whether or not that is the actual issue or not. Um, it is a more positive connection to my controller than on the Sony dock. It is easier to use that way. And the fact that I can power it from the front USB ports on my PlayStation 5, definitely an advantage versus having a separate power supply. Is it better for me than the Sony one? Yes. Is it my favorite dock I have used for the controllers for the DualSense as of this point to charge it? No. Uh, there are other options out there and more that we will be testing in the future. Now, I do want to thank Nexigo for sending us this to check out. We will be checking out their own multi-function cooling stand for the PlayStation 5 and actually has its own built-in charging station for the DualSense 5. I have a feeling I'm probably going to like this method of charging better than this one here. I wish the orange lights just stayed on. I want to know that it's got power. Just let me know that. Don't switch it off when the controller stops charging. Uh, I do like the fact that it is easier to tell that you are connected than the Sony PlayStation 5 dual sense charging dock that Sony themselves sell. And this is less expensive too, that's the other thing. Um, the fact it is a three amp output on that power supply, that's huge. That's a lot of current. So that should really charge your controllers up rather quickly. But now these are just my opinions on the charging dock from Nexigo. I wanna know what do you think of this? Is this something you would consider picking up? Is this something you have picked up? 
Now, if you want to pick one of these up, I will have a link down below in a pinned post to where you can go ahead and get these through our Amazon affiliate link. Now, unfortunately, there's no discounts or anything like that associated with that. However, it actually does help support the channel. Now, if you are looking for any other comments or questions that you need to have answered, again, leave them down below in the comment section. You can also go ahead and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can send me a message on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductions. GK. Now, if you are looking to add to your gaming library to get great titles for the PS4, the PS5, uh, the Xbox One series, the Xbox Series X and S, I guess it wouldn't be the Series S, it would just be the X, wouldn't it? Anyways, head on over to CastlemaniaGames.com. He now has games up on the site, even for the Switch. Very cool about that. And movies. So he's really adding to the catalog there on the site. The cool thing there too is you do earn Castle Cash. It's his rewards program. The more you buy, the more you save towards future purchases. And you can use promo code ROCKSOLID10 to save off of most items on the website. Thank you, Ryan, for everything that you do for the community. Um, the next Go Charging Dock, interesting concept could be refined to be even better in the future. Now, if you are looking for more content based on charging stands, controllers, accessories, reviews of the PlayStation 5, those are coming up right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rocksolid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel. And you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.